Ecam fam, what's good, y'all? What is good? Welcome to another episode of Marshall Creates with Ecam. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back this week. Sorry I missed you guys last week, but had some um some health stuff I was dealing with, had to rest, but I'm back. I'm feeling great and I'm glad to be here. So let me just hey say hey to you guys real quick before I even do that. Today we're talking about video podcast branding. We're not really talking about it. We're just going to do some stuff. Okay. So, um, if you have an idea or if you have an actual show, um, like a podcast, a video podcast specifically that you would like branded, um, throw some ideas out there and uh, I'm going to pick one and we're going to, we're going to do that today. So we're going to create a logo for it. And, and uh, if we have time, create some overlays to use in Ecamm for your video podcast show. So think about that. While I say hey to some folks, um, Michael Turner, what is good, my brother? Great to see you. Let me fix this. Great to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Yes, yes. So Ecamm is a phenomenal tool for video podcasting. Um, and if you're a pro member, we have the isolated audio track. So it's just a it's just a beast for video podcasting, y'all. So you definitely Definitely want to stay locked in. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe because we got more content coming, talking even more about video podcasting. Um, so I believe the video is up now for, for from the Leap Into Podcasting um, conference we had a couple weeks ago. So check that out. Mr. Camera Junkie, great to see you as always, my brother. Mr. Moderator, good to see you. Good to see you. Tatiana Teaches, welcome, welcome, welcome. Andy, great, great to see you. Yes, yes, I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Yes, yes, yes. We gotta switch. We gotta switch up the music for next season. Maybe even switch up the branding for next season. But yes, cool, cool. Parker, yes, welcome, 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 welcome. All right, y'all. So we we got an intimate group. Ty, what is good, my brother? From the Good to Go family as well. Great to see you. Um, yes. And if you guys could, if you have a question for me, the Q with the colon makes it easy for me to find it. Yes. So we're going to do some, some video podcast branding today. So if you have a video podcast, you would like brand it or an idea, throw it out there and we're going to do that. Um, yes. Okay, great. All right, y'all. So I'll just wait a couple of seconds for your comments, but in the meantime, I can go ahead and and prep my workspace. Yes, if you guys could hit the like button, I would appreciate that. I'd appreciate that. Yes, yes, yes. All right, y'all. So we got an intimate group. Looks like we got at least 14 people on here right now. Um, so if you you know, that's a good thing because if you have um if you have an actual podcast or something that you want branded, it's a greater likelihood that you would get chosen. <laughs> So yeah, throw some stuff out there, y'all. I didn't do it like I did last time where I made people fill out the form um, because I didn't want to complicate it. I was just like, I'll just pick somebody at random <laughs> this week. Um, so yeah, so uh, I'll go ahead and get, get uh, Illustrator pulled up so we can do the logo first. Um, let me see, open Frenzy logo template, okay. Cool. All right. All right. And hands up my brand podcast dudes and dads podcast. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Dudes and dads podcast. Cool. You're the winner, Andy. So <laughs> let's do it. Dudes and dads podcast. So if you have an idea for what you want the logo to look like, let me know. Um, and we can, we can do that. So, uh, I'm going to pull up illustrator. Give me one second file open recent frenzy logo template. Okay, cool. So let me share my screen with y'all. Marshall creates a screen share. Cool. Called the woman of rock. Hmm. Hmm. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Keep this in mind, y'all. Tune in. We may do this segment again because this seems to be a a fan favorite. Um, when I when I do these, uh, so 
keep that in mind. Make sure you tune in every week because maybe we'll choose that one for next time. But this time we're going to do the Dudes and Dads podcast. So, and if you have any, um, yeah, I like, I like the name too. If you have any ideas for the branding, okay, color includes FFC929. Okay, cool. Cool. Let's go ahead and create a color palette. Um, I feel like Bob Ross already. Cool. So this is an app I use called, uh, what is the name of it? Color Slurp. <laughs> I love this app. <laughs> so um, it allows me to, you know, pull color palettes. So this is one of the, the clients I was working with. So I do a new color palette. Um, and let's just do Andy's. Andy's palette. Let's just do dudes and dads. All right, so you said F, F, C, F, F, C, F, F, won't let me put it in here. That's cool. All right, so we'll put it in here first. So I usually like to start with the with black, but we'll do white. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this color is. FC 929. Okay, so it's yellow. All right, so now I'll just keep it on deck here. Um, so I'll open up Color Slurp. Okay. Close enough. Cool. All right, so we have your color here. You have any alternate colors? Cool, cool. Yeah, definitely tune in, Tatiana. We'll, we'll, we'll likely do this again. <laughs> Got several more of these sessions to do before we close out this season. So we'll likely do this again, and I'll keep the, we'll keep that in mind. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, thanks for sharing that, uh, Mr. Moderator. So, yeah, Color Slurp allows me to essentially um, select any color on the screen and get the color code for it. So as you can see... Um, you know, as I do all of this, as I scroll across the screen, I can get any color I want. Um, and I love it. And then it automatically adds it to the clipboard. And if I want to add it to the palette, I can do so here. And then, for example, if, since I do have this color, right, I can come up here. Um, and I can create the palettes and export them. And let me go back. Oops. Hold on. Right here, I can get the shades and the tints as well. So it's really cool. I love this tool. Use it all the time. Okay, use black as alternates. Okay, cool. So we got this and we got black. So this is gonna be interesting because yellow is an interesting color. Okay. So we'll just do black, dudes and dads. Okay, so what I'll do in the interest of time, of course, is I'll go to Adobe Stop. <clears throat> I love Adobe Stop. Get a lot of inspiration from them. And I'll type in, let's just say dad logo, just to get some ideas. Um, well, I kind of like this style. Kind of like that style. Hmm. And even the vintage style is cool too. Oh, color wise. Okay. Well, that's, that's good to know. That's good to know. So yeah, we could go like with like a vintage style, um, like something like this or something like more like a comic comic. Um, hmm. This is kind of cool too. I like this super dad right here. Yo, what if we did something like this? Would you be open to that? Something like this. So I'm really digging this. Yeah, something like this. I think that that would look cool. Cool. Let's do it. All right. So I have the the screenshot here. I'm not gonna steal it. Like, 
<laughs> like just the exact same thing, but I'm going to use this as inspiration. Um, okay. You know, in the interest of time, since I'm not sitting here sketching it out and doing a whole logo development process. <laughs> okay. So now I want to find a, a font that will look good with like that. So, um, type in dudes. Well, let's do the lowercase to start dudes, dads. We'll figure out the ands later. I have one in mind, a font in mind that may look good. It's called Conthrax. C O N T. Here it is, right here. So that's one in, that I have in mind. And let me just find another couple options really quickly. So I can go to see what similar fonts we have. Hmm, that's pretty cool too. It almost looks similar to that font down here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that's gold goldman. All right, let me move this preview window out the way. Goldman Lustra. All right, so I think it's going to be between Goldman and Lustra. So I just pick these two and we can kind of vote. Uh, all right. And then Goldman. Right. All right, y'all. So out of these three. So let's just do A, B, or C. You're like one, two, three. Let me know which one y'all like the most out of these three. And we'll just rock with it. One, two, and three. Can y'all see this okay? Yeah. So we're going to create something that looks similar to this. Okay. And what I'll likely do is go and actually license this inside of, um, I mean, I don't need to because different but side of adobe stock just to just to make sure um one or three okay all right like number one so we got one vote for one one vote for three well i guess it's two votes for one if andy's choosing one and three let's see if we can get a couple more votes well i guess andy it's your it's your podcast <laughs> okay so yeah, it's up to you right okay one or three. Try to see if anybody else has any any other suggestions. Okay. Wow, that's a bit of a delay. So I know you guys are probably typing and I can't see it yet. Okay. All right, y'all, let's just rock with one, I guess. Okay. So I know as soon as I choose this, people are probably going to comment. <laughs> All right. Well, Lou, all right. You're the side effect, brother. Thank you, brother. All right. <clears throat> Dudes and dads. Okay, cool. Mr. Moderator, appreciate it. All right, let's do it. All right. So now what I like to do is I like to duplicate. Um, So this is actual text. And now I'm going to actually make this a shape now. Okay. So I do shift command O to make this a shape. Um, I know I like it visually, but it may not be what the brand needs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the actual like logo development process, it's thorough, but we're doing an express job <laughs> today. So what I'm gonna do here is um, I'm gonna move dads over, okay? To be in alignment with like, um the end because I'm going to put and right here. I don't know how we're going to do this yet, but we're going to put and there. Um, and is it the dudes and dads podcast or is it just dudes and dads? Let me see here. Let me go back up. Okay. Well, I guess it's just, um, I guess it's just dad dudes and dads podcast. Okay. So we're done. No, I'm kidding. All right. So let's, let's go ahead and do and right. 
So we need another font for and. Jews and dance podcast. Okay, cool. So and let's let's do this in um, all caps and make this smaller. And I just want to find another font for it that looks complimentary. Could we use an ampersand? Like and would that work? Could we do that? Uh, let me know if we could use an ampersand. If not, I'll find another font. And find something handwritten like birdhouse may work. I have thousands of fonts, y'all. Okay, so you, you said the ampersand is fine. Okay. All right, so let's let's use the ampersand then. Make it interesting. So let's see what the Contrax version of it looks like. Okay. Cool. So what I'm going to do is to make it fit this this uh area um a little better. So I'm actually going to show you all a little trick. So this is what I do to make sure stuff is is consistent. So I'm going to duplicate this D, right? I want to flip the D. Reflect it. Combine both of them and then fill in this hole. So now I have like a perfectly like a cool little square, but it's in the same um same vibe as the rest of the font. You know what I'm saying? Because it's literally built off of the D. <laughs> so I'll do that stuff from time to time. So I'm gonna make this the ampersand, make it white. Dudes and dads, okay, it's pretty cool. I feel like it needs a little bit more breathing room right here, a little more separation from this. Let's see, view, rulers. I probably don't have time to get as granular as I typically do. David, what's good, my brother? All right, so. Yeah, so it actually isn't. It's fine. Okay, so the, the U is just moved over. Okay. All right. Okay, that looks better to me. Dudes and dads. And then now we're going to do podcast below. And let's definitely pick a different font for podcast. <laughs> I'm leaving that one alone, Doc. I'm leaving that one alone. That's funny. That's funny. Cause I've 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 walked into some of your podcasts and I'm like, hold up, what? <laughs> so I know how that goes. That's hilarious. And that's with anything, man. Any show, TV show, podcast, anything you watch. If you come in on the wrong part, it can it can seem like something completely different. <laughs> Completely, completely different. <laughs> All right, blowhard. Um, should we do like a handwritten font for podcast, or or not? I feel like it could benefit from it from like a handwritten pod, handwritten font. All right, let's try to find something handwritten. I think that'll look cool. Something that's simple, though. Handwritten, yet simple. And I have a lot of, like, stuff. Like... Okay, I'm I'm feeling this one. Ca caveat. Feeling this one so far. Let 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Sign painter. I think caveat. It's the winner so far. Huh. Paracelo's cool. All right, so let's let rock with caveat real quick. Huh. All right, let's stick with this for now. All right, y'all. Now the magic is about to happen. Okay. So what I like to do is duplicate stuff just in case. Like, because once I start messing with stuff, it's hard to go back and fix it if I mess it up. Um, so what I'll start to do now is I'll I'm gonna make this into from a font. Oh, let's just see if that has any other variations. So with Illustrator, y'all, I know this isn't necessarily an illustrated tutorial, but they have glyphs or alternate versions of letters, which I love. Like, so you can kind of play with the different letters um to see what what looks best not with all fonts but with some fonts they have alternate versions of certain letters this is why i advocate using illustrator to design your logos hmm i think this s probably works better t yeah this t is cool now let's let's do the other t all right i think that looks good all right so now I'll move this out the way, then I'll turn this from editable editable text into a shape. But let me get a bigger P here. All right. I know, I know. I was thinking about that too because I'm getting ready to start my podcast. So I'm like, do I call it a podcast? Do I call it a show? The, the thing about calling it a podcast is that I don't know, I guess it's so popular now. Um, people immediately know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Well, I guess the same could be said for show these days, especially if it's on um if it's on video as well. So it's like a quick way to to recognize it. But yeah, you're right. We definitely enter in a, a shift where it's like the podcast definitely isn't needed anymore as like as much as it used to be. We could do show. It's now or never. We could change the show real quick or something else. If not, we're going to rock with podcasts. You man, let me know. Let me know, my brother. Let's see. <laughs> let me know. We got a couple seconds couple of seconds all right let's take a podcast all right boom all right so did i duplicate this already all right, let me do it one more time y'all know i i do this a lot it's just a habit y'all because uh, if i ever want to go back to a version quickly or, pl or play around with a different variation then um then i like to do that all right so now I'll tilt it and then i'm going to shear it okay but i'll shear um, dudes and dads, but not podcast because podcast is already sheared. All right. Okay. So sheared is basically like tilting it. Okay. So I got this with the. What's my percent? Well, let me group all this stuff first. Dudes and dads. So I'm going to shear this. So look. Um. Object transform shear. So check this out, y'all. See that? Now we're adding a little angle to it. I think this looks good. Let's dial it down a little bit. Cool. And what I could have did, since this font is so wide, is just reduce the space in between the letters. So that's what I think I'm gonna do before I share it. So let me do that really quickly, y'all. Because this font is like um, expanded. So when you share it, it just makes it even wider. And I could make it less condensed, I mean, less expanded if I wanted, but we don't have that kind of time today. 
Because <laughs> what I would do is like go to each letter and do something like this. You know, to make the letters shorter. Um, like less wide. Like I could do that too. But we don't have that kind of time today. So all right. Cool, this looks good. I think this is fine. Um, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not doing it the official way right now. All right, so now I'll go back and do what I just did. And group all of this. Rotate. Step one. Rotate. And then, oh, you know what? Let me do this first. Let me go ahead and create the circle. Um, for it or what we could do is we don't necessarily have to have a circle we could do like a rectangle or something let me think of the best way so I can have the S come out this way um Okay, so I'll have the D go up this way to the top of the, you know what, just to make it different, let's go ahead and do a rectangle instead of a circle. Um, And I'll still do the same thing, okay? So let's do that, that'll be cool. Check this out, y'all. So I'll do a rectangle, okay? Um, Increase the stroke. So the key is we want the stroke to be the same exact width of, of the letters, okay? So let me just do this really quickly. And I'll make the stroke red real quick and reduce the opacity to about 50%. Just to make sure it's the same width. Okay, that's good enough. 39. All right. So we'll do dudes and dads. Like this. And yeah, we can keep podcasts in there like that. And I can actually make it a little smaller. Cool. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to have to check it out. All right. So now we'll round this. So you see how these corners are kind of rounded? Um, So I'll keep that theme consistent and round the corners. Um, But you know what? Let's curve this one. But let me bring the opacity back. 100. Um, and Make it black again. But let's round this corner like this since we have more room and then we can just do a subtle round on the other corners like this. I can even bring it in closer, right? All right, y'all. So now we're getting somewhere, y'all. Move this three out of the way. So I'll duplicate this just in case, you know, just in case. And this dudes and dads, is that close? Too close or not close enough? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. And let me see what it looked like with the ampersand smaller. Cause out of curiosity. All of this with the with the square. Uh, I don't know. I think we'll keep it. I think we'll keep it the way it is. Alright, so now I'm gonna expand this object, expand to make make it uh Make it into a shape and now i'll share all of this okay so i'll go here like this tilt and i'm going to leave podcast because it's already slanted but everything else i'll share object transform um share okay so now
cool. I think this looks good, y'all. What you think? So far. Because <laughs> we're not done. <laughs> All right, cool. Lake Day was <laughs> ish. What's good, my brother? <laughs> It's LinkedIn. Come on now. There's no parties happening in LinkedIn. So look, now that we did that, I feel the need to add a curve here. I can't do it the traditional way. So I'm going to actually manually do it. Just pray for me and see how it looks. Let's just see how this looks. So if I try to manually add a curve to it. Uh... No, abandoned ship. We're going to leave it like that. <laughs> All right, now, so I'm going to bring this D up, y'all. Up here. So we'll have the D kind of come around this way. Um, hold up, which way should we have it? Because the S is going to come out. Um, I feel like the S should come out, or this S should come out. Right, which S? We got to figure out which way they're going to go. Think, let me think, let me think for a second. Okay, so if this S comes out. All right, so let's do this. All right, y'all. So we got the S will come out and then curve around. I think I think I'm I'm good with that. So. So I'll just duplicate it just to get a good even space. Chop this sucker out. This. Then delete the rest of the duplicated S. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Now, y'all, we need to move this corner. This corner needs to be rounded. All right. Keep it consistent. Oops, and then deleted the whole shape. Ish, thank you for the super chat, man. I think that's the first super chat I've gotten. <laughs> Since doing Marshall Craig's. I appreciate that, brother. Honestly, man, that's super dope. Thank you, man. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm getting, I'm kind of like in <laughs> low key zoning out because I do this all the time. I'm like, oh, snap. I'm like on live. Let me hurry up. I don't have time to be doing what I normally do. All right. So we're just going to uh, around these corners just a little bit, y'all, real quick. Um. So this, so click this, this. So you see how the corners are, this is straight. This is like rounded just to keep it consistent with the rest of the, uh, the situation here. So then I got to do the same here. Um, so I'll move this up first to about here. Okay. Then make these corners around it. a little bit okay all right y'all this is it this is the logo okay so as you can see used um adobe stock for inspiration but created something similar but different right similar but different so i think it looks good what do you what do you what do you think um andy cool thank you fast felicia i appreciate that truly 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 
Okay, and I think I'll make podcast just a little small, just to add some more breathing room, man. And move it over to be in alignment with the S and dads. Cool. All right. So, look, I have an idea. We can even even make this like more of like a patch. Or like a sticker. Let's do that. Let's do that. We're going to make it like a sticker and that's going to be the, the actual logo. So we're going to create a color scheme real quick. I think we could do like orange. The yellow is cool, but it's not going to play well with what we want to do. Um, so let me combine all these shapes with the shape builder tool. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. The rest of this looks good. We'll probably let's just look at some quick color schemes. So we're going to keep it real simple. Gonna go to coolers.co. Uh, set cookies. Boom. Start generator. Let's go. And we're gonna hit the space bar. We're gonna find something with orange. Is this too bright? I think this is pretty dope, but huh. Let me just take a screenshot of this just in case we may want to revisit this. Because it's like super bright. Too dark. All right, so we got one. We got one in mind, okay? All right, let me just do like logo color schemes for orange. Dad's garage. Retro orange feel. Oh, really? Okay. Logo color schemes. It's crazy you said retro because I was thinking that. Nice. Oh, you know what? Tom's place. This looks cool. I'm digging this. What if we rock with this? I like this a lot. Let's rock with this color scheme. All right. And I want to add like a... um. Dang, I'm 40 minutes in. This may be a bit of a longer one because we didn't even get to the overlays yet. All right, so uh, I want to add more of like a texture to it too to give it, make it a little rugged before we put it on a sticker. And then the sticker would be like the main logo for branding and stuff, okay? So, um, coolers.co, appreciate that. Yeah. All right, um... So I know I want the main sticker to be. To show you what I mean, I'm going to do this real quick. So I'm going to make a black background. Let's go ahead and make it this dark gray. Okay. Lock this. All right, so check this out. Part two, I know. I know. Maybe next week we'll do the overlays. Okay, this maybe next week we'll do the overlays. So I don't want this to be too long. Um, or maybe we just leave it at the logo. <laughs> maybe we just leave it at the logo. So I think this is a this is enough value. Not enough, but um, a lot of value. I don't even want to know how much I charge for logo design on his own. <laughs> um, but this one is paid for by Ecamm. <laughs> Ecamm Live. <laughs> All right. So. Boom. So this is serves like the base of our sticker or like a patch. You know what I'm saying? So it has a little bit of a curve divot. So I'll fix that. Boom, and then do the same over here. Cool. 
All right, so let's incorporate this orange in here. Out of curiosity, I want to see what this will look like in orange and everything else in white. Except the ampersand, of course. I can find it. I can't find it, but I'll find it in a second. Hmm, that's interesting. Interesting, interesting. I don't know if we'll keep that. Or what if we did this, y'all? Just, I'm just cu I'm curious. Just curious. We made it all black. Nah, that ain't gonna work. It could, but it's not gonna work. All right, forget that. Yes, yes, that's facts. All right, so let's go back to the white. Hold on, let's make dudes orange. Sixties burger joint. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Cool. How are we feeling about this, y'all? How are we feeling about this? I feel like we need to go a little darker on this orange, to to be honest. Just a little darker on the orange. Um So let's pop it up. Oh, I'm snag. I'm I'm curious about this. Or what if we did a gradient, y'all? Stick with me. All right, and then on one side. Do the light orange and on the other side do this right. Ooh, we got action, y'all. Reverse it. We got action. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And I can make podcast. I feel like I make I can make podcasts a little lighter. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Let's see if we go a little lighter with this and see how it looks. All 
All right, no, let's just keep it like that. All right, y'all. So I think this looks good. Um, so let me let's put it on a sticker mock-up real quick. <laughs> Dudes and Dads podcast. All right, so now I'm gonna find a sticker mock-up. Let me open up a new tab, and I'll go to let's go to free pick. Let's go to Envato Elements. All right, sticker mock-up. Do something like this, or we can do something with like a like a little uh, wrinkle in it. That might add a little sauce to it. The little wrinkle. I like the ones with the wrinkle. It makes it more authentic. Oh, actual stickers. Nice. All right. First, one last thing, y'all. We got to add some texture to this joint. We got to add some texture to it. I almost forgot. Um, so now you already know what I'm going to do. Duplicate this. I want to leave that just in case we decide not to do it. Just do grunge texture. Oh, that's too much. Oh, I love it. Let's do it. Available offline. Let me save this just in case. <laughs> well, it's called uh, episode 16, right? <laughs> yes, I've been using it. Oop, almost banned you. I've been using the vital elements since they launched. Oh, that's too much, y'all. That is too heavy, y'all. Oh, no. Unless we just did it on the white layer. Let's see. Yeah, that's too heavy. That ain't gonna work, y'all. So... Let's try another one real quick. It'll take forever now. Hold up. I'll open. Yeah, this one should be cool. Let's double check here. Yeah. All right. Open. Oh, okay. Shoot, everything's in the cloud, so I got to remember to download it first. 
Sorry. It's all in Dropbox. So I got to do make available offline first. <laughs> Let me check this one out real quick. Okay. All right, I'll go Command-8, Command-C, come back here. What do you think? What do you think? Is that too much? Is that too much? Should we go no texture? Oops. Let's probably keep it no texture. I'm sorry, y'all, but I just got an idea. We could do this. Oh, make it even more retro. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and grab the sticker mock up real quick. Download. Let me see. It's another pack. I think I have some packs already to be honest yep perfect okay oh make available offline All right, one of my other logos I did. Okay, Let's see here, your design. So all I gotta do is paste it from Illustrator right in here, y'all. And see, you know, I think it already adds a um background to it, but let's see. Command V. So it is going to change the shape a little bit, but that's fine. Command S. Oh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I added a black background, like a black outline around it, which I don't know if you can change. The shadow. Yeah, we'll keep the shadow. Let's see. Design. So it adds a stroke. Let's take the stroke off. Okay, so this is without... The black stroke around it, I actually like it with it. What you think? What you think, Andy? With or without the stroke? I actually like it with it. Hmm. It can go either way because you can use this just by itself. And, you know, if I drop the background out, um, Let's see what the stroke is. So the stroke is 47 pixels. So we'll just keep that in mind. We'll take it off for now because with, okay, bet. Stroke, boom, okay. And then we can drop the background out and boom, you can just use this. You could plaster that point, that joint on a um, podcast cover or some overlays and it would be dope. It would be dope. It would be dope. Let's just change the background color. Oh, yeah. 
That's dope. I feel like that's too much orange though, so let's keep it like this for now. <laughs> or even make it darker. But yeah, I'll send you this and then send you the one without the transparent background. Then I'll send you the actual um, logo files too. I can probably make this D a little taller in dads. I feel like it's a little short. Boom. And there we have it, guys. <laughs> I guess we, we, uh, who's, what is the name of the stream? <laughs> it's podcast branding, right? Video podcast branding. So we, we, we stuck with it. We did just that. Or did, was it video podcast overlays? I think it was branding. <laughs> no doubt, man. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool, y'all. I think it turned out well. Using Dad's podcast. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. You guys got any questions for me? Sorry we didn't get a chance to do overlays, but I think this is well worth it. Spending a little bit more time on the actual logo design. This is still, you know, pretty fast <laughs> considering... <laughs> How long it typically takes me to do a set of logos. Well, a logo in general. Um, branding. Okay. Video podcast branding with Ecamm. With, uh, yep. Marshall Craig's video podcast branding. Yep. So we stuck with it. So we did just that. Oh, great. Um, cool. Uh, I got to get you this somehow. So if you can email me, um, I'll send it over to you. Marshall at 120designstudio.com. 120designstudio.com. I don't know if we can add it in the comments or make it spam, but yeah, I'll get you this over. Awesome. Welcome, Christopher. Appreciate you, my brother. You can tell he's over here from LinkedIn. My man got the Christopher. He said, no, not Chris. It's Christopher. <laughs> Yes. Cool. Yeah, it's Marsha at 120designstudio.com. Cool. Discord. Man, I'm like a new, I don't know what, what to do on Discord. So, yeah, if you just email me. Cool. Two L's on Marshall. Cool, 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 cool. All right, y'all, this was super fun. I think the logo turned out dope, and I can't wait to see it on your video podcast with Ecamm. I'm going to be checking in. <laughs> cool. There's a Discord right there. Yeah, if you guys could just hit the like button on the way out, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode another episode of Marshall Grace with Ecamm. And uh, maybe we'll do this next week too. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> My last few episodes of the season, y'all. So we kind of, kind of, uh, just having fun. We're just having fun. My man, Doc, I appreciate you as always, my brother. No doubt, Andy, it was my pleasure. Truly, truly my pleasure. This is super fun. All right, y'all. Well, you guys have a great rest of your week, and I will catch you guys next week. I'm out. Peace.